Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Strategic Command American Civil War. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest DLC for uh, Strategic Command American Civil War, that being Wars of the Americas. We are playing through the Mexican-American War uh, scenario. This DLC does give a Mexican-American War scenario, a Spanish-American War scenario, war between Chile, Argentina, and Peru, or Bolivia, uh, and then a uh, another South American War, as well as a hypothetical uh, war between the U.S. and France during the Civil War. So it's an interesting DLC, quite a bit of different content that is included in it the dlc does come out on the 26th of january so just a couple of days and this was taken from a live stream on my twitch channel from a few days ago so if you're interested in catching those in the future link in the description to follow me over there With that being said guys that's going to do it for uh, this intro let's just jump right back in we're playing the mexican-american war we're playing as mexico and we just uh, are fighting along the sort of Mexico-Texas border while we're also dealing with the approach of American landing craft in uh, sort of central Mexico near Veracruz, the historical landing by Scott. Uh, they haven't landed yet. We'll see what happens when they do. Uh, I've used a little bit of, uh, you know, my historical knowledge to prepare for it a bit, but we'll see how things go. With that being said, let's jump right in. Hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys at the end. But if the Mexican player knows, like, if they do anything to try and, you know, use history to be their ally, I, I don't know what... Oh, they're going to go for the brigade. Whatever. I'll keep sacrificing individual brigades in, in New Mexico if it means keeping the pressure off Santa Fe. All right, okay, so they land in the south. So there's a couple of different landings. All right. Oh my god, they're landing everywhere. And I have no cavalry to give me any eyes on. Lots of Americans! At least they're suffering attrition. What was that? They assemble something? Yellow fever spreads through the U.S. encampment. Haha, <laughs> bastards. Get sick and die. All right. Um, assemble supply depots in Tampico. So that must be... Where is that anyway? Up here? These guys are going to be kind of fucked. Supply-wise. Alright, let's launch some fierce counterattacks against these bastards. God damn it. Ran into a headquarter. So I couldn't destroy him, but I think these guys are kind of screwed in the south. Now, the fact that they constructed a depot up there and, and that it told us that, I'm kind of expecting that to be sort of a, hey, they can, re they can bring in reinforcements directly. But if this is their headquarter, if Wool is their headquarter unit, you'd think Scott would be here somewhere. Maybe we'll destroy that southern... Southern Thrust. Let's have these troops cons converge on Tampico. Maybe we can destroy them. Alright, so we destroyed that American Cavalry Brigade here south of Port Isabel. We did not take San Antonio. They've got a garrison there. We've at least become adjacent to it. Thanks for the follow, cat. All right, let's see if we can reduce this group near Port Isabel. Okay, zero to two, zero to four, zero to five, zero to five. One attack and that brigade is gone. Good job, regulars. Do your job. Do that. 
so what do we have here? We've got strength seven, strength eight. And those guys have already attacked. Right, one to three is our best chance of destroying another unit. Okay, so we destroyed another enemy unit near Port Isabel. They only have two hexes where they can actually deploy troops directly, so that'll be interesting. Although if they're bringing troops down amphibiously, then I guess they can do that. Amphibiously, is that a word? Attack that cavalry here for a free hit. Their national morale ain't great. 82. good chunk of money want to buy fucking regulars all right two brigades we've almost we've that'll max out our number of brigades too that we can raise the americans have 26 units so we've actually inflicted a fair fair bit of uh losses on them they were at like 31 or 32 a couple a couple turns ago. I don't think those troops landing south of Veracruz are going to be in good shape. They just don't have anywhere to draw supply from. There's no ports or anything like that. And there's no supply depot, like secondary or primary supply depots or anything like that. Ugh, that cavalry brigade got hit pretty hard. They're going to land troops on Veracruz this turn. Maybe I shouldn't have abandoned those... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have pulled all those troops back out. All right. Advancing inland as well. I'm hearing troops marching, which makes it sound like they're putting more troops in there. Not sure where. All right. It's going to be rainy. They probably have another unit here that I don't have eyes on. All right. Let's put these guys with our artillery. Fort does pretty damn good damage there. All right, got him. Okay, so that that bridgehead is gone. March through the enemy lines there. These guys should have very little supply, and they do. So they got a regular unit here. These are Marines. Bastards. I know they at least have a headquarters unit down there too. So some enemy horsemen over here. Let's see if we can get them behind them. them off with that garrison there so they can't just ride into Mexico City can we take Port Isabella? that would be real nice if we could do that 1 to 5 hell yeah their supply situation is not as bad as I would think with those losses but maybe it's their national morale I don't know shattered Port Isabel will fall Gunboat? Yeah, it is. Anybody else attack? His gunboats in port just get obliterated, so if we could actually do some damage against the enemy navy, that'd rock. Got him! We actually destroyed an enemy fleet. 
Granted, they're just gunboats, but... Hey, some fucking Texans. Rangers. Bastards. That kind of hurt my regulars there. Who is this here? Doesn't tell me. out of regiment totals too. Regiments don't do much though. That's I guess the problem here. I wonder how strong rangers are. US fighting spirit falls due to the loss of St. Isabel. Yellow fever continues to spread through the American encampments, inflicting losses on those. Dastardly invaders. All right, they're going to reinforce those Marines, which are, again, I don't think they're going to have good supplies, so. Oh, Santa Fe, no. Gonna attack that regiment there, which did nothing against them. Attrition, thank you, free casualties. All right, we got another regiment ready in New Mexico. Thank God, something to distract them for a turn or two. All right, let's get these guys. Okay, so we finished off a brigade near Port Isabel. The Rangers are fighting remarkably well against our regulars. Damage evaded, the bastards. Damage evaded again. Not that time, my friends. Okay, at uh, Port Isabel. We're gonna try and pull back here to get more supplies so we can make a drive in San Antonio. Part of the problem with that northern advance on Santa Fe is I believe we have to hold Santa Fe. Ha! Huh. They left uh, Tampico unoccupied? All AI. You just gave up your primary supply center in the south there and your recruiting location. What? Three to one? And their supply is abysmal. Are the Marines supposed to be that good? My own supply is not great. That's part of the problem. All right, we'll move Santa Ana south, but it feels, and, and this may be a risky thing to say, but it does feel like perhaps their invasion their flanking maneuver, their bold stroke may have not carried off. Well, like it, it feels like maybe they, they failed. Dangerous thing to say, I suppose. We'll see. 
All right, the Rangers are going to reinforce, but that means they don't do anything. CFA is going to still be under attack. Shoot back, boys. Shoot back. Okay. It should not fall this turn. What's their uh, morale look like? We got a bunch of new units here. 74%. Anybody in New Mexico? No. Nope. All right. Reinforce these guys. Full strength. Hey, we inflicted some casualties with our brigade or regiment or whatever. Uh, Nice. Good. Didn't expect that, but I'm okay with that. Finish off these bastards. Yeah. Wait, how, it said they shattered. And then it's a damage evaded. How the fuck does that make any sense? There we go. Only took three tries. Corpus Christi is ours. We're advancing on San Antonio from the south. They shall not stop us. Actually, I'm going to want to use this brigade for something useful. Okay, so once we maybe deal with San Antonio, then maybe we shift some troops north to reinforce Santa Fe. Maybe these new troops that are coming online will go there. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the damn Marines in the south, though. So, enemy cavalry is over here. Spotted them. the marines bastards three to one is that really the losses that we're gonna take isaac thanks for the follow i mean i'll do it if i have to Destroy the fuckers. New units, where are we gonna deploy them? What's the closest I can get any of these guys to Santa Fe? The answer is nowhere even close. And I don't even really know that I want to send individual regiments up there. Like, what are they going to do? Nothing. That's probably the answer. All right. Where are these yellow fever American soldiers even fighting? Like, there's no one here. Unless they're the Marines that they just weren't pictured. How do you win? Well, it's a 48 turn scenario. There are minor victories, which are based on like time running out and who holds what. Otherwise, I believe for the Mexicans, I think you have to take, I think San Antonio. Oh, they just wiped out that brigade. That's great. Um, the Americans have a bunch of objectives they have to take as well. We can take a look in a sec. All right, so in terms of winning, if 
For a major victory, Mexico has to hold these cities, which I don't think we've lost any of them yet, and then also take Austin, Texas. The U.S. has obviously cities there as well. I thought it was San Antonio, but I guess it's Austin. Over here. Getting that lead regiment shot up just so I've got some intel on where the Americans are going. Okay. That was not a great result versus those Marines. And there's more of them. Bastards. Not Marines at least, but... Santa Fe is find out a way to cut their supply which I don't really have a way of doing unless I get some cavalry up there all right uh new units regiment Mexico City I guess make sure they don't take that from behind and we'll move forward We're gonna land troops near Port Isabel now. Oh no, those are gunboats, so that those aren't troop transports. All right, well they destroyed the the regiment there. At least the troops at Santa Fe got the got a rest for a day. That's right, they still have the headquarters. Okay. I don't know what I've been told. Get these bastard Marines. Can't fucking finish them off. They won't die. Hmm. Okay. Maybe next turn. Hey, looked at a few casualties. Yes. Okay. These guys should be fucked now that they're knocked out of a city they w they should not have any ability to draw supply likewise for this unit of troops
No foraging from the countryside. Yeah, like you can get some supplies in certain circumstances, but you're certainly not going to get what you, you otherwise would have, I guess. It's, it's the way I would put it. Let's move the headquarters over that way too. What are we looking at? Naval wise, they've got six units. So we're actually growing stronger than they are. Which is pretty cool. Start moving those troops towards San Antonio. Or Santa Fe, I guess. They want the same thing. Alright. Forgot about this cavalry unit down here. Definitely heading into 48. Defense is raising. Oh, see. oh, local troops. I was like, what? Assuming you could coerce locals into food, but yeah, I mean, you get the. It, you definitely get supplies from friendly territory more easily than from opposing territory, I'll say. Clicks to pack. They're going to reinforce the Marines there, I think it looked like. But because of the reduced supply, they can't at least fully reinforce them. Meanwhile, the assault on Santa Fe continues. They could definitely encircle that city if they wanted. I'm surprised they don't spend this turn reinforcing those two brigades north of Santa Fe. That cavalry unit is lost via attrition. supply situation is not great. I gotta get my headquarters up there. And we finished off that enemy cavalry unit. And there's a garrison unit there. Bastards. A big circle here, a pincer or something. Okay. All right, so that cavalry unit is finished off. That's the last of their uh, Tempico expedition. Can we finally kill these Marines? Maybe. No. They're going to retreat so far away from me that I won't be able to do anything against them. We drove him back, but didn't destroy him. Deep into the jungles of southern Mexico. Uh, and these uh, these troops up here in the north, their morale sucks. Don't blame them either. I really need, probably need a headquarter unit up here to have any chance of throwing them back. Well, 
Let's see what our supply situation's gonna look like. Deep in the heart of Texas. All right. So they're gonna use some of their artillery shells up firing at my cavalry, which I am 100% okay with. Their field artillery is going to suffer attrition because they don't have any supply in there. And maybe I'll be able to destroy it. San Antonio now has a field gun. No. A little bloody yet. Won't destroy it. supply situation look like next turn not great keep attacking those troops and get them that's some free experience every time I do that to full strength. All right. Driving them back a little bit, maybe. to the next turn what is the common field artillery this time i think six pound field guns like six pound smooth bores was the most common i think do not quote me on that that is not my area of expertise but all right is that a frigate i hope that's a frigate and not another landing force meanwhile they've now moved south of uh, santa fe with their cavalry off that field gun 420 fighting spirit bonus for doing so got a brigade at Galliad headquarters and artillery up that way It's interesting in the Civil War game, or even in the, the World War One game, I always find myself, no matter what, you never, never force march. Just don't do it because you lose so much morale and fighting spirit and other things like that. But in this game, I find myself completely unable to function without force marches because the distances are so great and you have no infrastructure to move units by rail or anything like that. 
So if you don't force march, you're kind of fighting with one hand tied behind your back. Hey, they did some damage there. is a frigate right ship of the line the north carolina american ships of the line those are rare god i need another headquarters can i buy another headquarters or are we maxed out could buy another if I saved up the money. Let's do that. I think we'll have enough next turn. Sounds like a bunch of reinforcements being moved into Texas. We're getting some nice rainstorms down in Texas. What's uh, the enemy strength? 22 versus 31. Are already here. Laredo is ours. Damn field guns moving, moving to push the front line back. They didn't attack Santa Fe directly. They they have uh, they have it surrounded, but they didn't attack it directly this last turn. Zero to two on the Marines there. Their supply situation must be getting desperate. Their fighting effectiveness has dropped that low. But we destroyed them! We destroyed the United States Marine Corps. Sorry, boys for the greater good what I don't know but for the greater good all the Montezuma to the shores of Mexico and death Rip to a real one. Uh, they got ripped apart, that's for sure. Attrition. 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 Somebody forgot to pack the, the MREs. Goddamn headquarters just keeps advancing. Ah. All right, well, they're going to attack Santa Fe this turn. That first attack didn't go well for him. All right, that was just a single attack there. Okay.
I don't know what I'm gonna do with that lone artillery battery advancing, but and we're kind of getting close to Albuquerque, where the or to Valencia, where the front line is, and uh, New Mexico. Also, we do have a New Mexican regiment to deploy this turn. I guess I'll deploy there. All right, those guys are marching into uh, into Texas, and we should be able to destroy this lone brigade of U.S. troops. We did. Now we just got to deal with the enemy headquarters unit there. Wool's headquarters unit. So it looks like it was making a move for Oxia, which is a secondary supply center, but... Uh, let's also buy that additional headquarters unit here. All of our headquarters are level 5, so... Didn't really make a difference there. Supplies next turn. Really? That's it? can't pull any more supply forward shit i'm guessing if we take san antonio that'll change things a bit or maybe if i can put that headquarter unit on this town that's cut off right, there we go we'll, we'll die next turn for sure i guess we can try and get santa Ana further north that might maybe we could put him into new mexico that might change things a bit Got him. Okay, so what is what is taking this town do for us? Headquarters unit can't move there. No. What's next turn look like? Okay, it, that does noticeably improve our supply situation. Move on San Antonio next turn. Hey, we got our troops up to the front line there. I don't think we're going to have the strength to do anything. Shit. I didn't mean to take a casualty there. That was not what I was looking to do. Although I don't think that brigade's going to be in any shape to attack me. I could move Santa Ana by some method. It's it would almost be quicker to disband him. All right, this should be the second or third headquarters that we're going to destroy. There's got it. So the, uh, the invasion there failed. Their morale, meanwhile, sucks. Ours is great. All right, if we take San Antonio, that might be... That might be curtains. It'll get us close to Austin in any event. So the unit that we attacked near Santa Fe, which had only four hit points and only two supplies withdrawing. 
bombardment of Port Isabel. Oh no, they've got transports. I think. I think those are transports. Are they gonna land behind me? Or maybe they're not transports? What the fuck are they? They look like they were gonna land. That look like a St. Louis. Yeah, it is a transport. What? They didn't land? Okay. Don't complain, I guess. supply situation you're gonna look like next turn all right these guys are gonna have one three five okay this guy should be dying of attrition cavalry is albuquerque Gate at Tempe? Jesus Christ. It just makes me nervous that they could drop troops in like directly behind us. And cut my entire line of advance. And brigades would easily overwhelm a regiment. See if we can take San Antonio in the next turn or two. I don't think it's a supply center, so my hope is by surrounding it, I will dramatically reduce its efficiency. There's a gunboat, but not troops. They're going to move right back. Are they going to land those troops? No, they're just going to keep sailing them around with nowhere to drop. Those might not be amphibious. They might actually require a port. I wasn't thinking about that, but certain types of transports can land and some can't. You've got to like drop in a port. I'm not sure which those were. Here we go, boys. San Antonio is ours. I'm going to assume those are transports and not amphibious, and that is why they have not landed. That's what I'm gonna hope anyway. Right, we're advancing on Austin. The Alamo playing a sad, sad song. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know if the game auto ends if we take Austin and haven't lost anything else. I'm not sure. Their morale has fallen with the loss of San Antonio, though. That's for sure. That's full show. Well, their, their bombardment of Port Isabel actually did some damage. And again, every time they bring those troops into that river, it freaks me the fuck out. But then they sail away without landing anything, which again, makes me inclined to believe they need a friendly port. All right, we finished off that garrison. And there are rangers in Austin. Get that artillery up there. I'm going to need them. Galveston. Primary supply. All right. No shocker there, I guess. They've got a garrison. got no nothing else I've I've maxed out my building I don't really even see the point of touching anything in the south gold rush in California the 48ers um yeah I don't even see the point of moving the troops in the south They're not going to get anywhere in time. No. They destroyed a brigade. All right, the troops of Galveston. Good fight. Ah! Oh, they landed troops! Yeah, that was a, a landing force. So these guys cannot land. But that other one, that that's what sort of an amphibious one looks like. So they did land some troops. A wave of liberal revolutions, the revolutions of 48, begin to sweep across Europe. Well, that's good to know. Doesn't matter for us. Okay. So what are we going to do about these guys? Oh, wow. They're one to three. They don't have any supply. They're, the fact that I... There's such a good... I would say it was, it was intelligent, but so lucky that I left those troops at Tampico so they couldn't just land behind me and take a port and get supply. I didn't think they were going to land another force, but my laziness may have saved me. Okay. You know, with all this money, we should be able to buy a navy. Like, ship some cash over to England or something like that and have them give us a navy. I forgot about Santa Fe. I didn't even move anybody on that front this turn. Their gunboats. Sailing of their troops. Doing nothing. Gonna leave them in the river. The reason they pull them back at the end of the turn when they have nowhere to land is that if they stay adjacent to a land unit, we can hit them hard. What kind of shit ass bugle is that? Prussia and Denmark are going to war. Oh, we didn't defeat the Rangers, but we did drive them out of uh, Austin. So I think that just about does it for the war. What are they gonna fight us with? Gaines is not going to have any
of supply next turn. I'm hoping that taking that city is all it takes to get them to surrender, but we will find out shortly. Houston to the ground while I'm at it. Does Houston even exist yet? I, I don't, I don't see it. My geography is all fucked up. Where the fuck Galveston? Honestly, I don't even see Houston on, on the map anywhere. Am I just dumb? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where the hell is it? It's just a little backwater. There's no oil yet, so there's no, no reason for it to matter, I think. Leaf column up to Santa Fe. I stopped moving that headquarters unit I bought because it was never going to get there in time. Yeah, with Austin falling into our hands, let's see what happens here. USA Fighting Spirit falls due to the loss of Houston. Or Austin, Texas surrenders. Mexico plunders. What do I have to do at this point? Major Mexican victory. There we go. Victory! Mexico wins the war. America loses Texas. It's now part of Mexico. I wonder if they give us back California. <laughs> I don't know. You think they do? They, you know? Oregon, maybe not in the peace deal since the Americans split it with Britain. But, uh... You know, Texas is ours at least, so, uh, lol. There you go. That's, uh, that's the end of this particular scenario as part of the war, um, the Wars of America. I think that's the name of the DLC. Um, yeah, so a bunch of new scenarios. You've got the, um, Conquest of Mexico, which is what we just played eagle and empire which is the alternate history if if france intervened on behalf of the confederacy in 1863 during their intervention in mexico paraguay the battle the war in paraguay between uh paraguay and the triple alliance invades paraguay triple alliance of what goes to the pacific which is chile peru bolivia and remember the main which is the spanish american war which i'm curious about so maybe we'll give that one a go another time with that being said guys that is going to do it for tonight i hope you guys did enjoy the stream of strategic command american civil war wars of the americas this game comes out or this dlc comes out on january 26th and uh, that's going to do it for tonight so i hope you guys enjoyed until next time this is the historical gamer as always saying thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'm out.